Hey guys, what is going on? Blossom is back and as you can see we have a carbon fiber, a new carbon fiber and it is the USA Saloon carbon fiber. Uh, this pack was out I think two to three days ago but then it went away but now with all the events that are coming up it is back again and I'm going to show you what you can get from this pack. Now, um, I go and look for cars on topdrives.club uh, to see if, uh, to basically source out what cars I can get. Uh, however, Top Drive Top Club doesn't have a saloon filter. However, it does have a sedan filter and that basically means the same thing. So I'm gonna show you every car I found that is ultra rare and above in the uh, sedan section um, after filtering out the cars. So if I do miss any cars, please let me know in the comments below. So, moving on to the cars you can get from the USA Saloon, the first off is the Ford Taurus SHO. Now this is the car I will probably get if I open the pack considering how bad my luck has been as of late. Uh, however, um, you know, it's not as bad as a Mini Cooper, John Cooper works. Uh, moving on is the Dodge Charger SRT8. Um, wait. Oh, actually, no, it might be worse than the Mini Cooper because I thought this car had standard tires for a second, but it doesn't, just as four-wheel drive. But moving on is the Dodge Charger SRT8. Uh, very, very powerful car, this, and it is stronger than the car that is coming up to it in most tracks, just because it has lower 0 to 60, and I think it does have slightly better MRA. Um, but compared to it is the Dodge Charger Daytona, which is another car you can get. I have this maxed out, and it has superior grip. However, it loses to the SRT8 in drags, uh, fast circuits, uh, test bowls, um, almost everything. I'm pretty sure I lost to it in like hairpin as well. Uh, not sure if I lost to it in twisty though. Um, but yeah, this car just has better grip. However, um, Dodge Charger SRT8, we're comparing 4.70 to 60 to 5.6. So that's a huge difference. However, I wouldn't mind getting duplicates of any of these cars because I'm a huge fan of Dodge and the Charger especially. Moving on is the Cadillac STS. Um, it is a pretty powerful car. Decent 0 to 60 for a standard tire car for sure and decent grip for a standard tire car for sure. Nothing too amazing, but nothing bad either. Moving on is the Chrysler 300 SRT8. Uh, it has a very impressive 0 to 60 of 4.5 and a top speed of 175. I do believe it, ha it has medium clearance as well. Uh, however, I'll have to double check on that and we can do that after I show you every car you get. Uh, the weak point of this car is obviously going to be the grip. Uh, 79 grip maxed out would only hit about 88, maybe 89, mostly 88. So the grip is not amazing. Moving on is a car that I really, really, really want and it is the Dodge Charger RT Scat Pack. Uh, beautiful car this, 4.10 to 60. Uh, once again, the handling is not amazing, but the top speed is high and it is a powerful car. Wouldn't mind having it at all. Uh, moving on is the Cadillac STS-V. This is the only Epic, if I do open the pack and this is the Epic I get, I will be pretty disappointed about. Uh, I've had this car, I've unpacked this car three times in top drives now, three times. Um, just imagine if I unpack like three, hmm. What's an epic I really, really want? Furies. Imagine if I unpack three Furies. I would be ecstatic. Uh, however, no, I did get three of these. Uh, they are very powerful cars. However, I, I'm just not a huge fan of the old Cadillacs. Uh, but moving on is the Cadillac CTS V. Let's compare stats 4.8, 0 to 60 to 83, compared to 4.5 and 83. So the STS V does edge a little better. Um, however, both of them are just decent cars in their own right. Uh, moving on is the Cadillac CTS V Sport. A lot of Cadillacs going on here. This is a newer Cadillac, and I think it just looks a lot nicer as a car. Uh, it has a high top speed, yeah, higher top speed than the CTS. Uh, has a lower zero to sixty, but it does have worse grip. Uh, as, as you know, the CTS or the CTS V has eighty three compared to the CTS V Sport eighty two. Moving on is the Cadillac CT6. Now, if you guys know this is a car that I really, really, really want. Um, it is on the top of my list of cars I want to get this year, along with the Caterham Superlight. And I do love the CT6 because it is the best standard tire car in the game, um, in my opinion. Obviously, there's the Cadillac 16, which is just a drag beast and has an MRA better than a Hellcat. 
uh, Hellcat Challenger. However, it's just a lot more easier to max out in Epic compared to maxing out a Legendary. I mean, I played Top Drives for two years now, and I don't have a single Legendary that's maxed out. However, I have over 10 Epics that are maxed out, actually maybe over 15. Um, but I would love the CT6, I would kill for a CT6. I love the CT6, and I really hope I get this if I do open the pack. However, if I don't get this from the pack, there's one more car that I really want on my wish list, and that is the Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat. Now, as you know, uh, as a fan quoted, I am Hellcat Daddy, and uh, I love my Hellcats. I want to have 10 Hellcats in my garage. I want 20, 30. I don't care uh, if I can't use them. I just want Hellcats. Um, and the Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat will be a great car added to the collection if I do get it. Uh, 3.40 to 60. Uh, higher top speed than the Challengers and a handling of 81 is a car to be scared of. Uh, it does not have as good MRA as the Challengers. The Challengers have an MRA of a 100, while the Dodge Charger SRT has an MRA of 91. With that said, it is still very, very, very strong. And the Challenger Hellcat has a 0 to 60 of 3.7, while the Charger Hellcat has a 0 to 60 of 3.4. So I want to put these two cars together and just put them to the test, but very amazing car. The final car we can get from the USA Saloon pack is the Cadillac 16. Uh, top speed of 205 and 0 to 60 of 4.1, but the real game changer here is the fact that it has standard tires. Yeah, um, like I said, I think the CT6 is the best standard tire car in the game, uh, just because it's a lot more easier to max out. However, if you do have the resources and you are able to max out the Cadillac 16, then yes, statistically, the 16 is the best Cadillac in the game. Uh, no, what? No. It, well, it is the best Cadillac in the game, but it is also the best standard tire car in the game. Uh, but yeah, once again, this is a pack of high risk, high rewards. There are some pretty low RQ ultra rares that you have a high chance of getting, but there are also, especially this last three, the 16, um, the Hellcat and the CT6, these are huge, huge cars that um, anyone in any garage would love to have. Anyway, as per usual, I'll show you every car you can get from this pack. Well guys, that's just about it. That's every car I can get from the pack. Uh, my verdict, if I'm going to open one or not, the answer is yes. I will open one and that will be in a later video. Uh, however, um, next question is, should you guys open it? I think if you are a huge fan of American cars, go ahead because I'm a huge fan of American cars. You guys know that. I don't want to repeat myself all the time. Uh, however, I think this pack is useful overall just because of the weekend challenge. Uh, not the weekend challenge, the weekly challenge. Uh, however, is opening a whole carbon fire pack worth having a chance of winning a ceramic, which is the top prize in the weekly challenge? That's up to you guys to decide. However, I love American cars, so I'm going to open one in a later video. Uh, but with that said, that is the video, guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching it. And uh, I think I'm just going to end with a bit of top drives, because I did say I was going to check if that Chrysler is low or medium right height. I believe it's medium, but I might be wrong. Uh, let's check it out. All right, so the Chrysler is 300, uh, the, Chrysler, the Chrysler 300 SRT8 is indeed medium right height. So the fact that it has very weak handling, I mean, it kind of alleviates the, the badness of it, I guess. It's still really bad handling with that said, but uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all next time. Blossom out.